Hey, what's going on guys? This is my first tutorial on XHTML and CSS. Here we are going to see what is XHTML basically and how can how we can run that in uh, using a Mac computer. If you are using Windows computer, you have to use not plus plus. But if you are using Mac computer, there's a way to do it. First, uh, you have to type text edit. That's the software you have to use to run the XHTML and CSS. This text edit is already in your Mac. If you just type in the search bar, it's going to be there. So you have to just type it in the search and you will get that thing. And once you get that, you have to create the new document and type your XHTML code right here. And when you serve, you have to give it a name. Uh, when you serve, it's going to ask the name as well. So let's go ahead and do that. When you serve, it's going to give the name. And uh, here you have to select web page xhtml when you serve the file and you have to give the name for this let's put some name okay and when you serve the file is going to be here when i serve this one the xhtml files file is going to be here and that's going to be a web page now why this is important because um, if you want to create a web page most of the web page are created by xhtml and css let's look at an example let's go to the google chrome and just go to the random website even the google website go to that and right click this one and here you click view page source you can see all these things are created using xhtml and css xhtml and css so if you want to build a page like this you need to know uh, you need to know xhtml and css and uh, this is my first video i'm gonna go from the basic from my next video so this is just the introduction what is xhtml and why do we need to learn like if you if you're going to learn why it's needed because uh, to create the website pages you you're going to need this one and yeah that's all in this thing and uh, if you're using windows you have to use not plus plus and if you're using mac uh, it's already built in text series text strategy you have to just type in the search bar and when you serve this one you have to serve it as uh, HTML that's all in this I hope you guys find this video helpful and don't forget to see my next videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel as well see you guys later